Four and a Half Minutes to Friday Harbor by Mike Butel. The scene opens on astronaut Devin Myers, sitting in a captain's chair, center stage. The low sound of a spaceship can be heard in the background. Two folded flags lay on a small table next to her. Computer, calculate the distance from my current position to Friday Harbor, Washington, and the time delay for audio-visual communication. Captain, you are 50,220,000 miles from Friday Harbor. It will take four and one half minutes for communications to reach that location. Computer, open a link to the San Juan Community Theater, Friday Harbor, Washington, audio, visual. Link established. A reminder that Mr. Musk says you may transmit for only eight minutes. Transmission will start in five seconds. Captain's log, Earth date, 9-3-2020. The Falcon 10 and I just entered orbit around the planet Mars. The computer tells me I'm 50,220,000 miles away from you, and the words and images you're receiving just left the capsule four and one half minutes ago. Devin steps from her chair and waves at the camera. I'm hoping the audio-visual communications are working. It's never been attempted from this distance before. Regardless, Elon Musk has limited my transmission to eight minutes, something about keeping costs down. Apparently, Tesla still isn't profitable. <sighs> anyway, today is the big day. Elon said it could be done, and he was right. <sighs> In a few minutes, I'm supposed to climb into a landing module, press the button, and whoosh. Just like flushing a toilet, away I go. Uh, that was probably a bad metaphor. The rest, well, it doesn't matter. All I have to do is land on Mars. One or more pieces is fine. Personally, I prefer one piece. She walks a few steps to the other side of the chair and picks up the American flag. I, I haven't decided if I'm really going to do it or not. You all remember how this came about? Well, maybe a few of you forgot the story. It was, um, let's see, about three years ago. Yeah, it was 2017 that the president pulled us out of the Paris Climate Accord. Remember that? Then he pulled out of UNESCO. Then we were out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the UN Human Rights Council, and the Iran-Russia nuclear deal. Since I've been traveling, I hear we're out of the World Health Organization. You may have forgotten all of this with current events being the way they are, but you can Google it. It didn't get much press, but remember when he proposed the Space Force? And there were rumors he would dump the 1967 Space Treaty? That's the treaty countries signed, saying that space could only be used for peaceful purposes. And that celestial territory, such as the moon, or any planet, is not subject to national appropriation. In other words, no country can lay claim to them. Suddenly, all rules were off. But prior to that, space was regarded like Antarctica a place for everyone to share for scientific uses only. With that treaty gone, whoever could land a man or woman on Mars could claim it for their queen, like Columbus, or could claim it for their king or president. Well, NASA, the Russians, the Chinese, went nuts. Multi-billion dollar rush projects to get a team of their finest and most attractive astronauts to Mars and back again and into the history books. Very difficult and very expensive. But you gotta hand it to old Elon. The guy always thinks outside the box. He says, why not just send some old guy or gal with a terminal disease on a one-way trip? They're gonna die anyway. Let them go out with a bang. <laughs> Bad pun. It would be a fraction of the cost and complexity of sending a team on a round trip and accomplish the same thing. So, here I am, four-stage pancreatic cancer. 
meds keeping me alert or about as alert as I ever was. Pain's getting worse though. Elon starshipped work. It got me here. Captain, you need to stay in camera range. So, I got a few minutes to go. Do I do it or not? What are my thoughts right now? Excited? Oh yeah. To be the first person on Mars? To claim the planet for the United States? Beyond my wildest dream. Heck, I was excited when I moved to Friday Harbor. This... I'm scared. There, I said it. I... I haven't felt this since my last tour in the Gulf, 1991. Or the time the sailboat went on the rocks off Vancouver Island. Oh, they say it'll be okay. Elon built the landing module, just like a Tesla X. Pod bay doors and all. But come to think of it, doesn't the Tesla X have a few maintenance issues? But honestly, I'm going to miss Friday Harbor. Funny what you take for granted when you live there every day. Take that away? Sit alone in a tiny spacecraft hurtling through space for six months? It gives you a lot of time to think. You know what I'll miss? Standing up at the American Legion post. Watching the ferries coming and going. Breakfast with friends at Lime Kiln. Or dinner at Haley's. Sunsets on Westcott Bay. I miss watching the storms at South Beach. Or feeling the fog on my face in Mosquito Pass. Or listening to the whales on the west side. Most people like to look at them. I like to listen to the whoosh noise that they make. But most of all, I'll miss you guys. I guess I had to travel 50 million miles to realize that what we do each day is important because we're exchanging a day of our life for it. Arguing over politics is a waste of time. The man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. She picks up the American flag and looks at her watch. Well... Time's almost up. What am I exchanging this day for? She paces once or twice, looking at the American flag in her hand. The president wants me to claim Mars for the United States, but I think I'll do this. She puts the American flag down and picks up a United Nations flag. The White House is going to have a fit over this. Crash or land safely, this is going to be the first flag brought to Mars. I'm going to go down there and claim the planet for all men and women to live in peace and harmony. We have to find a way to live together. Black, white, brown, everybody. Maybe this is a small step. So my friends, I guess that's it. <sighs> to quote a line from James T. Kirk just before he died, it was fun. I've always wanted to say this. Computer, open the pod bay doors. Uh, no, how, open the pod bay doors. Holding the UN flag, the astronaut waves and walks into the darkness. End of play.